The ancient period when the bow and arrow and the spear rule supreme spans 2,000 years from 1500 BC. It was a colorful time in every sense, and it's certainly one of the most popular wargaming periods. We are going to look at chalon sur marne It's not a very well-known battle, but the name Attila the Hun should ring quite a few bells. It was in 451 AD. The Roman Empire was stretched. It just didn't have the legions to keep it together, and so had to look to its allies when trouble arose. Attila the Hun was just such trouble. He'd been laying siege to Orléans, and he'd been forced to retire. He didn't stop to fight until he was south of Paris, near Chalon. There, he faced an allied Roman army led by Etius. Etius, last of the Romans, supported by Theodoric, with his Visigoths, among others. There. Two armies faced each other. Romans here, Visigoths here on the right, the Alans, another tribe here in the center. Theodoric's son, Thorismond, occupied this small hill there, right of the main line of battle. Attila watched the Roman preparations and realized that the Alan center was the weakest point, so he put himself opposite them, here, with his Ostrogoths here and his poorest troops facing the Romans. He planned to advance his line until contact was made along the entire front. When he sent a cavalry, we would smash through the enemy center and swing left onto the Visigoth rear. When the Alans fled in disorder at his first charge and Theodoric was killed, his plan seemed to be working. Attila, expecting the Visigoths to break too, was collecting his forces when young Thorismund charged him from the hilltop, hurling the Huns back. There was no pursuit. So the next day, when Attila saw the enemy dispersing, he feared a trap and stayed where he was for a few days before breaking camp. What he hadn't realized was that Eos had persuaded Thorismond to leave for immediate coronation in the traditional Roman principle of divide and rule. The Huns and the Visigoths would not threaten Rome because they would be watching each other. So what have we got? On the left of the Huns, they're blue, and on the right of the Romans, they're red. The Romans are deployed as they were historically, that is, infantry in the center supported by their barbarian allies. At the top on the hill are the Visigoth cavalry, and at the bottom right, the Roman cavalry. The Huns are almost all mounted, as you can see, and it's their mobility that will count. The Roman weak point is that center. The Huns, on the other hand, have a very strong left flank, in spite of the fact that their discipline comes nowhere near that of the Romans. You'll start moving on the right, will you, Bob? Yeah. That's fine. You to remain stationary. They're not moving forward under orders at the moment. Come up and have a look at you. Yeah. Slow advance in the centre, I think. That's Bob O'Brien. He works for the local authority in Worthing. Steve Davidson also comes from Worthing. He's an air traffic controller. Still got one of my own spears. Yeah. Yes, it can, can be a painful experience, yeah. at the least. You'll see Steve like moving shorter distances, and that's because he's travelling over rough ground, and he's got to be sure that the ones at the back can keep up. Bob, on the other hand, has mounted troops who travel faster. Ah. He's already moved to there, yeah. so they can do that. Yes, because it is. Now the Goths are swinging towards the centre. I've got an idea that Steve will be trying to tempt Bob into that weak Roman centre so that his own strong cavalry flanks can run a pincer movement. Yeah, well, it's two units actually. They, um, yes, it's a very large size. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out to here, half a move, and then they're coming full forward. Deploying, no, deploying at a line or or a double line there. Right. That would be. Uh, that's right. We can just about do that with half a move. Oh, and your chaps are so mobile. Yeah. They really are. And this look, straight forward. Bob and Steve war yeah. game together quite a lot, so in spite of the fact that Bob is renowned for his involved scheming and his last ditch stands, I don't think that Steve is going to be fooled by all this manoeuvring. 
Pass through these two for a minute. Shift a bit to one side. All right, now we've got initial reactions. During the Ancients period, there were relatively few regular elite armies so that troop discipline couldn't be taken for granted. And it is, in fact, reflected in the rules. Reaction tests have to be taken by any units close enough to charge to see if they'll obey orders. Three average dice for this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's uh, 16. Uh, they have an unfriendly flank, of course. Yes. They have just about been all right, I think. I should imagine so, yes. yes. Uh, 16. Five on that. There are factors against them, the unfriendly yes. cover and the flank is open to them. Yes, there is unfriendly cover there, isn't there? Right. Yes, it would survive that. And the bow arms off, actually. It'll only just get them in, actually. It keeps going like that. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's yeah. only six, but I shall have to add on for flanks there. So you I can, can add build on those practice, up, yes. And I've got nothing against me. There's no... On those throws, both Bob's units will charge in. Factors affecting it for and against are set out on that chart of steeds. Like right, unfriendly cover, for instance, is bad. And that's got a points value. The dice throw together with the points determine the reaction. The other goth, I don't think they're within range. Those hands. Right. Straight behind them. Well, eight is fair enough. With quite acceptable. Two flanks. Yes, so there's not much against They will obey orders there, quite yes. happily. And I'd better do the extreme flank unit. Uh huh. It's the first within. Yeah, that's acceptable as well. Then. They have Pulling the unfriendly down. flank, of course. They've got an unfriendly so. flank, haven't they? So yes, work. that makes them. Now, if you've got anything, your Roman well, units won't need to test, will they? Because they've got. Um, exactly, the regular sure units are yes. much more suitable. Uh, these barbarian type Goths, of course, are near to. Um, yes, you'll have to have because you've got there. people within charge of each there. That's right. Okay, the first unit on the crest of the hill. Um, perfectly normal throw, I think that one, Bob. Shall yes, you've got through? Commander there, and you're up here with the battle down here. Yeah. And yep, secondly, only there. that unit on the hill. I'd like those to go in our control. Oh, Not so. on that throw. They'll just about obey orders this time. Mm. Yes, uh, being sensible. Lastly, these chaps, I think. We'd better see what, how brave or not they feel. No. Acceptable, I think. Yeah, no trouble there. Fine. So we'll do our compulsory moves first. These chaps will purely counter charge, Bob. They're not yep. prepared to go circling off. Into no. Well, we shall hopefully reach you. The distance is 16. Um, We'll move as well. We'll move a bit faster than you think. We should be just up there. We won't be able to change formation without getting disorganised. Uh huh. So we won't want to do that. And you'll come down the hill. Storming off the hill, eh? Unfortunately. That's right. Uh, now, any other charges to declare? I have none. Yes, I have two. Two? Those. Oh, God's there. Are they? Not against the centre, as you might have thought, but swinging into there and these coming forward straight into there. Good Lord. Well, that's shaken okay. Steve. He, he was expecting a charge at his weak allied centre, but Bob's turning his goth straight into the cream of his Roman infantry. The oh, heavy unit in front. They'll charge. Eleven. No trouble. Yeah. And the... Yep, again, oh, you're, yes. you're surrounded by so many friends. Yes. I don't think you have got the commander. No control charge well. possible there, but I think that will be good enough. Okay, that's the unit, seems 11. 11 regulars, yeah. Very normal, very no normal. Trouble. Nothing exceptional about my dice throwing, that's another, well, 11 no again. Yes. Uh, so, um, you will obviously... Can you move them the rest of the way, Stephen? Certainly, They're obviously Bob, going yes. straight in and uh, you will take it. Take it, you're not moving. No, they must no. remain stationary to withstand the charge. I thought so, no. Yes, indeed. I'll save your back. And yes, if you can move the rest of them. We've got some some thumps there to uh, oh, yes. sort out. Now, I'm doing nothing here except, I think, uh, deference to their orders. We shall go into the... Uh, you're still in town, stuff. We'll oh, yes. And we've got plenty of room there to go into the familiar cantabinum. Right. This tactic was alleged to have been popular. They formed a circle and galloped round and round, firing their bows as they passed closest to the enemy. It meant that they had plenty of time to reload and presented a target that was harder to hit because they were moving. And that's pretty sophisticated stuff for alleged yes. barbarians. Where did I let the Cantabrian? And there it is at the bottom of the board. 
there. Now, first of all, shooting. Yeah, okay. Can you wing your um, stick across there for light archers and see who's... That's the range stick. The first half is short range, and past that it's longer range. Yes, we might be able to do a bit of swamping there. This firing is done very logically. The dice play no part. All the plus factors are added up. Clear field of fire, range, and that sort of thing. The minus factors are treated in the same way. Heavy armor, a moving target. And this final figure is looked up against a number of men firing to give the casualties. That's rather nice. 31 at a 1. 20 casualties and you lose a man. Oh, 25. That's the figure in the pit, isn't it? Well, hmm. I'm going to ask you to suffer once more. Of course, they're only javelin men, so they're not in the... Uh, one figure deceased. Hmm. Uh, right, their reply, of course, will be at the centre unit. Yeah, Steve can't really hope to do much thing. damage. He's only got one it's third of the men. One with ten, which is only eight, Bob. Oh. It's very negligible. Apart from that, I think uh, there's no other shooting. Nope. Right. Now, okay, melee, Bob. We're down to melee stage. Now, yes, now over there. Okay. For the melee, that's the punch up. They'll use two dice. One normal, that's plus, and an average dice, which is minus. Yeah, it's exactly. all cut and dried on the chart again. He gains points for the calibre of his own troops and the like, and then loses them if the op opposition is tough. And he'll check the final score, including the dice throw, against the number of men he's got fighting. Sounds unpleasant. Oh. Minus two. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Passing through against medium. Are they heavy cav, Bob? Yeah. Heavy cav, four. Minus two is a two. Ten. Fifteen is a two. Is nineteen only. Nineteen only. And I got forty. Oh dear. Yeah. So we got one per figure in the cavalry charge, which is a break. Yes. <laughs> Not for Steve. He was grossly outnumbered and Bob was very lucky. After the melee, every unit that saw a rout had to check morale. It is morale that wins battles, and this is how we stand. At the top of the board, the Roman Goth cavalry is chasing the Huns after their melee, but they are totally disorganized. There is still Roman Goth cavalry on that vital hill there, top right. In the center, the Roman infantry that was broken is retreating. Also in the center, Bob is going to have to make up his mind as to just where he's sending the Hun cavalry. I can't imagine that he'll let them try to take the Roman cavalry on frontally. So the net result of that is that the Goths are pushed back, but my Hun unit is pushed back, and those are that left cavalry flank is developing into quite a dogfight. <laughs> it's looking rather, rather like a traffic jam. 
Yes, I have one in that direction. These Roman troops will charge those in the back, the cavalry are oh. caught to miss an opportunity mm -hmm. like that. Yes, we should probably have time to sort of turn around. You will, yes. The general will accompany them in this will appeal. He? Yes, indeed. I see. Rather keen um, at the moment. Now, these will charge these. Right, right. Um, and have you got any other charges? Any charges? Not at the moment. Just the, uh, the one on the left. Right. Let's see if they, they go. Again, they've seen a route and push back. But, um, oh, I don't want anything more. So they, they will go in. Yeah, that's reasonable. They will go in, yes. Throw of nine, I accept them. Yeah. That melee on the top of the table is really going in all directions. To recap in the initial brawl, the Roman Goths won, but because they turned back and went through their own lines, they were pretty disorganized. The Huns, who in fact lost, managed to outrun them, which is a tribute to their maneuverability. They have managed to rally, and they're going to charge the Roman Goths again. That's halted for one more turn, yeah. Oh, well, that's not so good. That's a break. Now, Steve has been rallying his troops, and I'm pretty sure he means to attack Bob's Hun in the flank, and then to charge any remaining Hun cavalry. In fact, Steve won't have to throw the dice at all. He's going for three Hun units that are running away, and that gives him six points anyway. The lowest dice throw he can get on three average dice is six, and on that alone, he's home and dry. Bob will have to throw. Uh, no good. Duh. And it's very bad oh, news for Bob. Get one more chance when they go off the board next time. Uh, any charges to declare on your part? Uh, let me see. One, two. One, two. One is straight, straight down, down the, the hill, hill, I suppose, at two units. And uh, the other one of these gentlemen, who I think will go straight ahead. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, right, throwing for charge. Well, they're all right. Yep, they'll be successful. Uh, standing the charge. Uh, yes, the top unit's going to be okay, and so is the other one, although it's in melee. But, um, don't, well, they're going to get hit rather heavily. Yes, in fact, I'll uh, charge against both units simultaneously. We will okay. charge here straight ahead. Uh-huh. I'm going to hit. <laughs> Quite no, I'm going to need yeah. 13. <laughs> Nope. Which I don't get. Very so they then. will halt. Well. I want these to charge in. Mm -hmm. Now these are the ones that Which were halting. Which unit is that, Bobby? Is that those or the counter charge? Oh, the counter, no, oh, the counter, counter charges. Charge, yeah, the counter charge we did was all right, remember? Oh, yes. But yeah, the, um, the others, I want to charge in on these as they come. Uh-huh. Uh, now they should be all right, but let's see. Let's see what the bones give us. Oh, damn, that's no good. I want these to charge in. Mm -hmm. Now these are the ones that were holding. Is that, Bob? Is that those or the counter charge? Or oh, the counter. Yeah. Oh, the counter, counter charge, charges. Sorry. Yeah, the counter charge we did was all right. Remember? Oh, yes. But yes, the yes, um, the others, I want to charge in on these as they come. Uh huh. Uh, now they should be all right, but let's see. Let's see what the bones give us. Oh, damn, that's no good. I haven't got many left over here. I've got three rounds. Hey, should be. Um, oh, wait a minute, yeah. Maybe that's for those. They make a lot of difference. We can get some more round here. We're in the melee. We're committed now. In fact, it's a stalemate. They'll have to come back to it on the next move. Melees can last two or three moves if the dice so choose. Very messy. This melee here, Bob. We might as well continue this one and get this one done with. Um, my cavalry chaps, heavy cavalry going forward still, of course. Yes, there are, um, there are the weapons. Other weapons. weapons. All soldiers had primary weapons, maybe spears, but they always carried something like a sword or an axe, and in the rules, these are other weapons. Four, and you have two, four, six, eight, nine, including the commander in the front rank. Four with a nine, eighteen coaches. Oh, that's very good for Steve. Yep. Now, my reply on those is, uh, how many have we got? Three, six, oh, I've also got nine, yes. It's yeah. Nine. But it's only on a one when it's half of my head, isn't it? Oh, yes. Because I'm disorganized still. I'm still not having rallied, yeah. so. Uh, oh, dear, that's only three. three. Um, here. I'm in the center again. 
Steed's Roman infantry, routed right at the beginning, is now rallied, and Bob's Hun cavalry are intent on avoiding the left flank of the Roman cavalry, which continues to press forward. Back to the top melee. We're both on other weapons now. We've been going at it for too long. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh -huh. So I've got to score. No other friends, actually. I've got, I've got to score. No, I think that. I've got to score more than eleven. And it's not so. Not so. It's ten. Uh, goodbye. So that's Back the, to Asia they no, go. No so, that's the Hun units off the board for good. It'll allow Steve to bring down the other arm of his pincer movement. Just the sacrificial charge here, which we... Well, we'll meet about there, won't we? Yes, they will count the charge. Um, they will. Well, well, yes. Well, 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 normal well. Roman practice. It's um, lights against heavies. These have got the signal now, and The Huns used flags to signal their troops, and Bob obviously wrote the all yeah, go well, home in his orders. Lost. Last move. They won't be too happy. There was one loss there last time. Okay. okay. This, this, this centre remains solid. Have hardly been in action at all. Now we had a standoff here, didn't we, Bob? So they uh, a standoff? All the way along the line here. Yes. So they'll be tied in there. They'll be wrapped around there. By you, I suppose. Yep, they'll continue their press forward. These, Bob, will have to uh, go off at route speed. Oh, yes. Just a minute. Oh, oh I should have done off. that as a compulsion. Steve's really rolling things up and sending the Han off in all directions. Yep. These. They will advance about six, well, say three or four inches. Yes, we've well, now it. seen four routes. They'll be on the retire. reaction is on retire. They won't yep. route themselves because nobody's actually. These will see another route. Yes, yeah, so it's um, not going to improve their metal at all, no. is it? It's only bad for them. Perhaps we'll press forward, I think, here. Yeah. Harris, your retirement. Yes, I'm afraid I uh, was probably, I don't know whether unusually slow over reacting in the middle there. I should have taken the bull by the horns or the... Taken the, advantage perhaps of the weak side. Or the hand by the forelock or something yeah. like that, you know, and... Um, forelock? Yes. Uh, and gone straight in and, uh, yeah, and, you know, yeah, that would have been more effective, I think, than lurking in the centre doing nothing. I've heard about Bob O'Brien fighting to the last, but I really think he's beaten. He's in no position to do anything except pull back as fast as he can, which he's doing, with both his flanks and his centre in disarray. I have written an order and left one more unit off here, which is a Further rear guard, uh -huh. which um, final unit. Yes, as a, as a backup. That's if it even goes in, if it's supposed to, but it won't do anything at this stage. And that, I think, oh, these didn't move, did they? <laughs> I don't believe it. There goes O'Brien, manoeuvring to the bitter end. Yep, and that's it. That's okay. your game then. Okay uh, then, Bob. It's yes, fine. Well, it's, uh, nothing else I can do on this now. I'm not going to be able to pull this up. I'm too many points down anyway. I think so. Yeah, certainly five, on the right here, it's a mopping up operation. Yeah, five units. Which is a devastating loss. Quite enough. Quite enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. really good. Really good. Well, that was a good win for Steve. He played a fairly historically conservative game, and he had a simple plan, trying to envelop the Huns using his strong cavalry wings and relying on the Huns running through the form. On the other hand, Bob's scheming could have worked if his luck had run better, and he hadn't seemed to change his mind in the middle. 
When the Roman infantry broke, he should have let his Hun cavalry go for the soft Roman centre and not given the Roman cavalry the opportunity to come in close enough to force Attila back. Well, I hope you'll be with us next week. Somewhere in France in 1944. Bye for now. Thank you.